This village is situated at the top of Doi Sutap. From Chiang Mai center, follow Route 1004, the 24 km and around 50 minutes to drive to the village. It is home of Mong Hill Tribe, one of six major hill tribes in Thailand. This Mong Hill Tribe is a big village consisting of a museum, beautiful gardens, houses and souvenir shops. You often see a lot of cars at the entrance to the village. Some unscrupulous drivers simply park their cars, causing traffic jam. There are two suburbs of Hmong in Thailand, the Blue Hmong and the White Hmong. The Hmong or Mayo Hill tribes in Thailand crossed over the Mekong River from Laos. According to locals, around 2,000 to 2,500 people live in this village. The Hmong are an ethnic minority that migrated to Thailand from southern China in the 18th century. They live in at least 13 provinces in the north and central Thailand. About 75% live in the provinces of Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, Pechabun and Tak. There are Hmong villages in Mae Hong Son, Pre and Dan provinces as well. They are spread over a vast area, more than any other tribe apart from the Karen people. Hmong houses are built on the ground and in clusters, with several clusters forming a village. The oldest male controls the extended family household that include married sons and their families. The Hmong are divided into clans, which play an important part in rituals and relationships. The Hmong believe in a number of household spirits as well as souls. Formerly, Doi Pui Hmong tribal village cultivated opium. Originally, opium was cultivated on this land by a Hmong community which settled in Ban Pangpaka village, Ampur Merim, Chiang Mai province. In 1953-54, the Thai government sent soldiers to eradicate drugs in Pangpaka village and the community disintegrated. The visitors migrated to Ban Doi Pui. In 1963, His Majesty the King gave Thai nationality to the villagers and introduced them to Luche cultivation by offering 16 Luche trees for each household. As a result, the villagers stopped opium cultivation permanently in 1972. <laughs> The village is spread over the side of the hill and the garden settings are lovely. The shops housing with all their handmade goods follow a covered pathway up the hill too. They sell lots of clothing, bags, purses, hats, lots of giftware, etc. The colors and design are fabulous and terrific value for authentic products. The daily market is a major part of the monks' income, and what's on sale is far better value than the same products at shops in towns or cities. What's more, the income from here goes straight into the villagers' pockets. So by buying here, you are contributing directly to the community. The tribal people of this village are trying to maintain their culture, and they all wear their tribal clothes, except when they are working, when they only wear their top. People in the village are friendly and they do not seem to get angry when you ask them and finally did not buy anything from them. Now the Hmong are Thai citizens and they speak good Thai.
Every year from December to January, the Prunus Seda Suideses, or the time and name Nang Praya Suvakran, trees will bloom. Rot the blätter, it's kind of blooming over there. The trees will be covered with lovely pink flowers, just like the Japanese sakura. The baum da, the blüht is schön. This is the reason why they are called sakura of Thailand. There are many of them all around the area. Small rapids or waterfalls lead water to moisten the flower beds and are wonderful, beautiful. There is a museum up the top which is interesting. If you are interested in learning about the livelihood of Thailand's ethnic hill tribe, Doi Pui is one of the few places close to town to meet and chat with the Mon ethnic hill tribe, as well as learn about their way of life from the living museum. Beyond the museum is a garden that is a must see if you come to see this village. The garden is well tended with beautiful flowers and a great view. If you keep walking to the end and pay the man 10 baht, you can go into a really beautiful garden that has obviously taken a lot of work. Just before the garden you can even rent traditional clothing to have a photo shoot in the garden. It's a small place but very beautiful and peaceful. This is our second. Ah oui, non, c'est On a dormi chez un flamme.
Pan Pui is a Hmong tribal village and, as mentioned, located in Doi Sute Pui National Park. The entrance to the National Park is located about 15 kilometers on Route 1004 from the city center, and the drive to Doi Pui from the entrance takes about 40 minutes. Driving up to this village, be aware that the road is steep, narrow, and winding. On our way back to Chiang Mai and getting closer to the Doi Sutep, we had to slow down due to people, cars and motorcycles crossing the road. 